Hey boo, hey boo -ski. I look crazy. We just got to Milan, I am in my hotel. Welcome to my crib. This is MTV Cribs. This is the foyer slash area for my closet. This is the bathroom, kind of a spacious bathroom. I'm into this mirror. I think there's several mirrors here, which is really nice. So we have that. And then I always love when there is a window in the bathroom. And then there's also this, which is great because once we get the samples, the samples start rolling in. And then this is the bedroom and this huge king size bed just for me. Definitely not a fan of the decorations of the stuff here, but um, the hotel is really nice. But I'm starving. I think that we should go and change and put something on that's appropriate. I mean, the, the flight was only an hour. This lighting is crazy. I don't know how they're gonna do my glam with this lighting. I hope somebody has a light. What was I saying? Oh yeah, the flight was only an hour and 25 minutes. I have a fitting at Brunello Cuccinelli at three o'clock. So we're gonna go do that. But I think that we should change out of these clothes because technically this sweatsuit is not appropriate for lounging in this hotel because it's a little fancy. Um, so let's just put on something that I kind of wore yesterday, maybe like a button down and some trousers and go have some breakfast downstairs. Finally up and at them. I had a little lunch and then now I am getting ready to go to a fitting, walking around Italy. Allie came in, I told her to kind of just hang out in her own room and like get some rest because there's really no point in her following me around. She just got in today. I've been in Paris for three days, so I'm kind of acclimated to the time already. I'm sure she must be exhausted. And then tomorrow we can start new, hit the ground running. I see the glam team tomorrow, but we're going to a fitting at Brunello Cuccinelli. I already told you guys that. I feel like I'm on repeat. And then I already got two looks, one from Alberta Ferretti and one from Stella McCartney that we're going to shoot. Plus I'm going to the show. But yeah, Google Maps gets you everywhere in life. Milan is very small. Um, so is Paris, to be honest. Like the, the Google Maps in Paris is very good. Here, it's all these little side streets, so you gotta pay attention. Good morning from Milan. I had the best sleep. There's absolutely no tea, no tea in here. I mean, is there hot water? Oh, here we go, hot water. I ordered some water with lemon. I have to be honest, I'm already starting to not feel good. I don't know if you can hear it in my, in my voice, but like, I have like this super scratchy throat and I think it's from the change of weather. It was a little cold in Paris. What are they doing out there? It sounds like New York. It's so loud. It was cold in, in Paris and then now it's hot in Milan. I can't catch a break. I am shining. Maybe it's my, I'm eating breakfast over here. All right, so my makeup artist is on his way up and um, we're gonna get busy. He's a little early. I woke up and I was like, I have to go to the gym. I haven't worked out in at least four and a half weeks, like consecutively. And yesterday I was in a really funky mood. I felt like I had anxiety. Fashion week is so competitive. This job is very competitive. Hold on one second. Hi. Oh, How are you it begins. Honey. It begins. <laughs> you know what? Let me call you back because Vincent is here. <laughs> now, is this the background you want? <laughs> What do you want? If we're gonna do it. I <laughs> love the, the ambient noise. Isn't that great? Sleeping on the job. Okay. I'm just a little bit of a nap. Cut that out. Sai, how is the coffee cleanse going? The coffee cleanse is going really well. Um, I only had one coffee in Paris. I've had none since I've been in Italy, which is a shame because the coffee is really good here, or the espresso. Um, but I just don't feel the need to like 
have one. I've been drinking, I'm still having caffeine because I'm still drinking black tea, but I'm pretty good. Natural energy. It feels good not to crash in the middle of the afternoon. If you could detox 10 out of 10, highly recommend, except the first week you are miserable because you have such bad migraines. And then I'm like taking Excedrin, which is not good, but I was like, you know what, something's gotta give. And then when I got to week two, I felt much better. So okay. here we are. Maybe it's been five weeks now, except for that one coffee. Wow, impressive. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Ma'am, would you please explain yourself? <laughs> As soon as possible. I'm power napping. <laughs> it's a technique. You wouldn't understand. I just need a minute. All right. Hey. Hey, girl. Hey. I have long locks back here. Oh wow. It just keeps going. I think that was the blueberry that I missed, and someone must have stepped in it. It wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool and casual that way. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like their whole thing is just it's effortless. Effortless vibe. It was you. <laughs> Everyone blamed me. You are the blueberry smasher. What kind of earrings do we want? I mean, the fabrics are amazing, and I, I like that the pants stuff. are very long. They and they are like the right length for you too. It's perfect. Love it. It's giving wealth. <laughs> It's giving, I only wear the finest Italian fabrics. It's giving she has a high net worth. I have a very high net worth. <laughs> is the number one search. <laughs> it is. Guys, I'm broke. <laughs> Just ask me. That's a thing for this trip. Yeah, we're about to get this uh, 10 pack of ramen for a dollar. I used to live off that in college. Really? Yeah, so I used to eat so much ramen. They were 10 cents a pack. Then I did one where there was like with soup, without soup, with the soup. I would put like peas and I know how to be real broke. To think broke. about opening your own ramen restaurant. I know how to be broke. <laughs> it's broke with an accent on the E. Yeah. Broke. <laughs> if you need broke recipes, your girl's got you. <laughs> I like Brunello. I know it's a lot of beige, but it's my jam. I just, I just like a wealthy mom. Something wrong with beige. I love the length. We all know I like my stuff to almost like drag and clean the streets. I want people to go, what she do for a living when I walk by? I'm pretty sure they do. Then they look at your pants and they're like, oh, she cleans the ground. Oh, I clean the ground. <laughs> yeah, mom liked you. Whoa. All right, go have whenever you're ready.
right that Cavalli just sent over. Check out this bag. I mean, do I do that? No, I don't do that. It's a statement. <laughs> is that? Oh, hold it. It's an evening show. <laughs> yeah. We just do more flash photos like we did last time. Yeah, I did love those flash photos that we did. It's like, really cute, though. But I thought I could use it somewhere. Yeah. And voila. However, I need the pants to fit. Also, what are we doing underneath oh, these yeah. pants? Do you have any just like black underwear? Black underwear I don't have. Why do you not have black underwear? Thong. Yeah. I only have a thong. Oh, but, oh you, you don't have black. Yeah. Well, you wear thong. shorts. Wear a thong. Call it a day. Gotta give people what they want. A nude thong. Give them a show. Give them a show. These, these are too big is the problem to wear with the bralette. I would need it to fit here. Uh-huh. They're gonna be down here. Sai, what's going on? Nothing ever freaking fits. Bumper to bumper traffic. I'm wearing heels. And we're gonna have to do a seven minute walk. So, welcome to the shit show. Okay, Megan, where are you off to? Going to the hotel to get size look for Kabali. I'm nervous. We're on a time crunch, ladies and gentlemen. I believe in you. You can do it. <laughs> that makes one of us. I didn't take any footage inside other than vertical and it gets a little difficult trying to like maneuver the boats. When the show first started there was smoke that kind of crept up onto the runway little by little and then once the smoke got to the very beginning where all the paps were sitting then the show started and each girl started walking out. Very colorful, very gorgeous like chiffon just kind of blowing in the wind when you walk. It gave a lot of wealth. That's my kind of show. <laughs> Definitely my kind of show. Very pretty. And where are we going to next? Next we are going to Kabali. We had to send Megan back to the room. I had to call the room and say it was okay for her to go in there to get my clothes because we would have never made it from here, there, to the next show. So I'm gonna have to change in the car. And the cars are not as big here as they are in the States. So it's gonna be pretty tiny. But that's it. Stay tuned. changing my clothes out of Alberta Ferretti. You guys should know the drill by now. Let's get a good look at your outfit. Yes. Yes, yes your boobs are in. Oh, you look so good. Is stomach on flat flat? Yeah. Roberto Cavalli, um, I somehow hitchhiked and found a ride with this girl. 
and talk right. about what happened at the show, though. Of course. I Whose flock is this? <laughs> collection was absolutely beautiful. I actually, I really enjoyed the collection. There were some great pieces, pieces that would be satisfying for me and pieces that would be satisfying for my uh, work wife because we are two different. <laughs> so different. Um, Clearly, yeah, better style. Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> So the only bad thing about the this show, which I felt awful about, is that all the girls could not get off the runway because it was super slippery. People had problems with their shoes. And it got to the point that it was such a distraction that people were looking to see if a model was going to fall, um, which was kind of sad because it took away from the collection. But I have some footage. I'm going to plug it in so you can actually of see it. Of people falling, yes. No, I did not capture any footage of people <laughs> falling. I will not do that. I feel bad for the designer. I have them. If you guys want to see, check out my Instagram. Check out her, um, Shameless plug. her, own, her only plug. fans. Right, and where are you going now? We are going back to the hotel. We're going to go shoot. And then um, me and this girl are going to go grab some food. Mm -hmm. Go team. Does it look too Christmassy? You don't want to do it on Via Marco Polo? <laughs> Marco Polo! I would just like to announce that I saved the day by remembering that fancy hotels have sewing kits. Um, and I found one with safety pins because we need- I don't know if we saved the day though. Uh oh. Wow. The drama continues. Just say that I saved the day, and then like we can just leave it at you that. You tried to save the day, ma'am. Literally need them to be like, like stay like this. Should we just get in the car and I do this in the car? I mean, it's not a bad idea. It's not a terrible idea. Yeah, we're gonna have to fix these when we get in the I don't know what to do. All right, good morning, guys. We're going to Max Mara, and I'm having um, outfit issues. Max Mara is known for very long pants. I'm not that tall. I'm actually not tall, like fake. You're really not you tall at all. Yeah, I'm not tall at all. You're shorter than me. Like, well, not right now, though, because with your age and I mean, I'm, I'm sh <laughs> you're shorter than me. Like, clearly, I'm not. <laughs> clearly, I'm tall. Lying this <laughs> we are on our way to the show, guys. And um, you know what? My grandmother used to sew. I'm not fantastic at it, but should I need to know how to do something, I can do a quick little, a quick little stitch. I can sew on a button too, just in case. Can you believe people do all of this for a 10 minute show? on top of me, it's not even a joke. This is what we were taking photos in the front oh row. Oh my god, you're literally, that's hilarious. Front row. And she had to sit on this one leg. And after a while, I was like, my leg is, is going to give out. Love Max Mara, at one point they looked at us and they were like, oh, forgive me. <laughs> what are you doing? I am stuffing my face with a sandwich I ordered for breakfast that I did not have time to eat. Now I'm going to try on this Armani look real quick. Not really much going on. I don't feel stressed out or anything. I'm still feeling pretty good. You know, the fact that I got a workout in yesterday. You know, just living life. I am just here to live life. I'm just here to live that life. I love Emporio Armani. Like their shows are very like, listen influencer, we don't care how many millions of followers you have or how many millions of followers you don't have. All you people are gonna sit in this one bleacher seat all the way at the top to treat you guys as press. 
Kumbaya. Hope you all globally get along. Or you all sit right here. <laughs> so sometimes I sit with like girls with millions of followers. And I was like, this is cool. Like, they just treat us all the same. No one is better than anybody else. It's like, be grateful you got invited. Oh wait, speaking of, they did send me a pair of boots to have. Ooh! I love them. Oh, those are cool. Yes, we love it. Mm. She's a dominatrix. Ow! Oh. <laughs> this outfit is super cool. I like it. It's cute. We're getting ready for Emporio Armani. <laughs> Someone call Simon Cowell. Emporio Armani. <laughs> This is the last show of the evening before we get wine. Dun, 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 dun. I was so tired early. I was like, I'm gonna lay down for 20 minutes, but I had a full face and hair and I could not lay on this hair. So I was thinking to myself, maybe I'll just like sleep up work like that for a few minutes. <laughs> and then I got on TikTok and a was in here laughing and there was no coming back. And I woke right on up. Apparently, your girl's thighs are too big for these boots. <laughs> you made them too meaty. I'm too meaty. You remember that TikTok that's like, you made them meatier? No, I don't. I'm oh. sorry. I actually don't know that one. I'm not on that algorithm. Oh, what songs you speak of. It sounds from Kourtney Kardashian. It's Chloe pulling off her boot. She goes, oh, my boot, not my leg. Oh, yeah, that is right. She Okay. She does understand me. And she's just like, did you see that? Did you see, see that? I'm like in total distress right now. Can't get anything on. By the way, did you see that? You know, this sounds like a personal problem. I just want to say, we cut this video and everybody thinks that I am mean to Ali and Angela and everybody else. I swear to God, when the camera is not rolling, these are so mean to me, okay? Unfortunately, we'll never know. Sorry! <laughs> she's dressed, she's ready. Oh my god, I, am I ready? Am I well, physically you're ready, I don't think emotionally. I'm like, my stuff is all over the place. Where is your makeup artist when you need it? There are budget cuts. Oh god, big ones. Well, Guys, so look at this video. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> My boots are so loud. <laughs> the kick at the end for me. <laughs> this is my ensemble. Super dominatrix. I even have gloves, girl. The gloves are the vibe. Here to live life. I'm just here to live my life. Creating shadows. Oh, love. Yeah, right. God, you're so artsy fartsy. I'm so artsy fartsy. I love it. I just love the art. You know, it's like fashion and art. Oh, where'd she go? <laughs> she's back. Did you see that? Oh, she's back. <laughs> Where'd she go? She's back. Well, she was gone, but then she. Guys, it's wine 30. <laughs> we have a few things to do, but we're gonna skip those. <laughs> because why? 
guess what? It's wine 30 and when we're in Italy. So technically that's the last show of the day. Show was beautiful. It was very Emporio Armani, beautiful silks. They had a lot of sequin tops that were very nice. This is very edgy, I have to say, for Emporio Armani. And I love it. I think it's a vibe, even the earrings. But now I think I'm gonna take off my lady gloves and I am going to <laughs> get a glass of wine. How difficult is it for you to be Sai Da Silva on a scale from 1 to 10? Stop talking. No talking. I'm thinking about the ambiance here. Should I just... I think it's the music. I think maybe it's the music. It's the ambiance. I just Google translated my menu. Half the words are already in English. Well, not all of them.